All right. Today, I will show you a sample problem in the diesel cycle. So over here, we are given a compression ratio. Okay, so compression ratio, so R sub K, so in old books, it's R sub K, so 13. And then an expansion ratio of 6.5. Temperature, so temperature one, so that is 32 plus 273. So temperature one is 305 Kelvin. All right, so we are now ready to solve for letter A. So the temperatures of the three remaining cardinal points so before that uh, let me draw again the pv and ts diagram okay, so this is your uh, pv p v diagram so what's our code s p s v okay so this is point one then point two so S P, so constant pressure. So this is three. And then four, constant volume process. So for the T S diagram. So for the T S diagram, so T S. This is so from one to two, constant S, constant entropy, S P. S V okay so this is your TS diagram now to uh, solve for uh, the three temperatures so temperature 2 temperature 3 and temperature 4 we will we will express it in terms of uh, compression ratio expansion ratio and cut off ratio Okay, so temperature 2 is simply temperature 1 multiplied by R to the K minus 1. And this is equivalent to 305. So R is given as 13. Then this is 1.4 minus 1. And temperature 2 is 850.897 Kelvin. So next is temperature 3. So temperature 3 is temperature 1, then R to the K minus 1, then multiplied by R sub C, cut off ratio. So this is 305. Then this is 13 raised to 1.4 minus 1. And then R sub C is, what is R sub C? Okay, so what is R sub C? Is it given, this one? Is this given? So R sub C, no, it's not given. Okay? So it's not given. What is given is expansion ratio. Okay. So we stop our, so we are now stuck. Um, where are we supposed to get R sub C? Now R sub C is, okay, so R sub C, so R sub C is volume 3 over volume 2. Do we have volume 3 and volume 2? Nope, we don't have this. How about expansion ratio? What is expansion ratio? So our expansion ratio is the ratio between volume 4 and volume 3. And volume 4, okay, so volume 4 is actually volume 1. So volume 1 over 
volume group. So expansion ratio is given, but uh, we don't have volume one and volume three. So how about compression ratio? So compression ratio R is the ratio between volume one and volume two. Okay. Now, if I were to multiply this side of the equation with volume three over volume three, am I changing anything? So I'm not changing anything because this is simply one. So volume three over volume three, this is one. So I'm multiplying one on this expression on this side of the equation. So I'm not changing anything. And uh, if I were to rearrange this, okay, so if I were to rearrange this, so this one becomes volume three over volume two multiplied by volume one over volume three. Okay. What is volume three over volume two? That is your r sub c what is volume one over volume three that is r sub e so i can now write r r compression ratio as r sub c okay so r sub c multiplied by r sub e and solving for r sub c this Okay, so solving for r sub c this is r over r sub e and this is so this is 13 over 6.5 so r sub c is 2 so r sub c is 2 so we can now use this formula okay, so we now uh, we now uh, we have sold for R sub C. Okay, so let me, again, let me uh, write. Uh, so temperature 3. Okay, so temperature 3 is now. So again, temperature 1. And then R to the K minus 1. R sub C. Uh, this is. 305 13 raised to 1.4 minus 1 multiplied by 2. So temperature 3 is 1701.795 Kelvin. Let's continue for temperature 4. Okay, so for temperature 4, this in terms of uh, temperature 1 and R sub C. Okay, so temperature 1 multiplied by R sub C to the K. So this is 305 multiplied by 2 raised to 1.4 so temperature 4 is 804.8998 kelvin and that answers part a of the question okay, so part a of the question So the temperatures at the three remaining cardinal points. Now we are uh, ready to answer letter B, thermal efficiency. So for thermal efficiency, so for thermal efficiency, thermal efficiency is 1 minus 1 over R to the K minus 1, and then this is multiplied by K R sub C minus 1, and then this is R sub C to the K minus 1. So 
So, thermal efficiency is, this is 1 minus 1 over, so what is R? 13. 13 raised to uh, 1.4 minus 1. Okay. And then multiplied by 1.4 and 2 minus 1. Then this is, so R sub C is 2 raised to 1.4 and then minus 1. minus one and this gives us final answer of 0 0.58036 or 58.036 percent and that is the final answer for letter b 58.04%. Okay. Now for the uh, next sample problem. So here is the uh, next sample problem. And uh, I will show you the uh, solution on our next video. So please answer this one on your own. And then check the uh, solution on our next video. All right.